From being discovered as a hypocrite to wearing inappropriate attire, this is how Dr. Mike tarnished his reputation. Dr. Mike's reputation began to decline after he started disregarding the principles that had endeared him to people. Beginning his YouTube career as a humble family physician commentator, after four years, Mike had established a reputation as a doctor who practiced what he preached. For example, out of 4,000 comments on his TED Talk, the top and most liked comments said, what I love about Dr. Mike is the fact that he practices what he preaches, garnering 20,000 likes. Dr. Mike's integrity was unquestionable. However, things would change in 2020 after COVID emerged. During this period, Mike was vocal about people's safety, urging mask wearing. Now with COVID-19, having so many asymptomatic sick patients, meaning that we don't even know they're sick, perhaps there's some logic in having everyone wear these masks. And social distancing. Is it okay if I throw a mini party, but we all stay six feet apart? The answer to this question is a hard no. Social distancing means physical distancing and more than six feet apart. After discouraging parties, Dr. Mike went on to celebrate his 31st birthday in Miami, partying maskless and without social distancing. This is the same doctor who had said this. I've consistently preached that we need personal responsibility, a serious level of personal responsibility in order to stop or at least slow down this virus, meaning that we need to socially distance ourselves, we need to wear masks, wash our- Yep, you gotta practice what you preach. It's kind of a big disappointment to see someone like Dr. Mike who has made several, if not many videos preaching the importance of safety during the pandemic. And if you're not gonna practice what you preach, then how do you expect your followers to respect you? Despite being vocal about safety, Dr. Mike had been known for silencing respected politicians and businessmen from speaking about COVID, claiming they weren't experts. If we did it that way. Oh my goodness. All it takes is if you don't know and you're not an expert, allow the experts to speak on. This is what happens when you have a politician or economist, I don't even know what his position is, speak on a subject that they're not experts in. This is horribly wrong. No, we shouldn't just gather everyone up and give them the novel coronavirus. That is a horrible idea and a horrible sentiment. Even President Trump. It's almost as if President Trump wants to demean this virus so much that it's not as powerful taking the power away from his campaign. Ignoring his own teachings wasn't even the worst part. He had gone to Miami against the rules. Traveled to Miami, which was in the state of emergency because of COVID, by the way. I genuinely never thought he would ever do something like this, especially after having multiple videos stressing to stay at home and social distance. As a med student, he's the type of person I'm going to strive not to be. This is a perfect example of, do as I say, not as I do, which is the hypocrite's calling card. As soon as the people he had forbidden from partying saw the photos, the criticism became too much. The New York Times would post, sexiest doctor alive, slammed for partying maskless in Miami before stating, Mikhail Warshawski, known as Dr. Mike, is a vocal advocate of mask wearing in public during the coronavirus pandemic. Pictures emerged of him partying maskless with scantily clad women on a boat in Miami. It appears he's not too good at heeding his own advice. He was being rebuked by influencers. The person I have here makes me the angriest. Dr. Mike took more of a hypocritical oath. He wasn't just telling people to be safe. He was just so gosh darn ready for COVID. But it turns out uh, by ready for COVID, I guess he meant ready to spread it to everyone. He was in group photos right up on everyone with no mask. He was not just social distancing. He was actually like touching the people there. Respected doctors. It's telling people to wear a mask, to avoid being close to other people, only to break those rules. And even his fans. As a result of this unwavering criticism, Mike uploaded a four minute video pretending to apologize. On top of not following the science on COVID, Dr. Mike didn't follow the science of making a YouTube apology video either. Now you can see from the like to dislike ratio, people are not exactly having it. In fact, all the hatred Dr. Mike received is rooted in this video. He went on to manipulate government official rules trying to justify himself. The video begins with Mike supporting why he didn't follow the rules. This pandemic has absolutely taken a toll on all of our physical and mental well-beings. You know, whether you're a nurse, a contractor, a doctor, it's been a tough year. Basically trying to say like, hey, it's been tough for everybody, even me. That's why I decided to take this risk. But I feel like it's not the best idea to start off with phrasing your apology with the fact that you just didn't want to follow the rules, especially when you're the one preaching those rules. And then he explained that he didn't plan the party. I went down to Miami. My friend surprised me with a private boat. 
um, as a belated birthday present. If that's the case, why not just say, oh, thank you so much, and then socially distance and wear a mask. Dr. Mike went on to manipulate CDC information to hide his mistakes. So I went on the CDC website and checked the guidance for wearing masks during water activities. This was a guideline for what to do when swimming, not boating. A doctor purposely giving misleading information about COVID-19 to his audience as an excuse for why he wasn't being safe, by the way. That is legitimately appalling. If he mistakenly used swimming data, he wouldn't also manipulate CDC boating info as he highlighted it. Checked the local boat capacity guidelines, so we were well below that. Read that highlighted text correctly, boat 36 feet or greater, 8 adults maximum, plus children, maximum of 10 on that boat or 50% of the rated capacity, whichever is greater. While it says 8 adults maximum, there were more than 10 people. But the problem is, I mean, there's more than 10 people on, on, on that boat. I count 15 people, including Dr. Mike. It's a photograph with 14 other people. After building up, Dr. Mike went all out. He went on to explain that he was young, healthy, and lives alone. Therefore, upon evaluating the situation, he determined his risk level was acceptable. I'm young, I don't have health problems, I live alone so I don't put anyone else at risk, I'm gonna be following the proper quarantine and testing protocols, returning back to New York, um, we're following all the testing, um, boat capacity, and travel guidelines. So I thought for me, this risk level was okay. You can do literally everything he just said, you can be literally everything he is, and you can still get COVID-19 and die and or pass it to a loved one and they can die. He talked about all these things he did to make sure that what he was doing was right. All these tricks Dr. Mike used to manipulate guideline is what everyone really angry. You manipulated the CDC guidelines to fit your narrative. That's the genuine worst part of this. A trained medical professional who's taking guidelines and manipulating them to be what you want them to be. This is a lot of the reason why people don't trust doctors and you've talked about the stigma in the medical field before. Thank you for adding to the same thing you were advocating against. I'm healthy and young, so the risk is lower. How could you say that? This virus attacks old or young alike. This wasn't even a true apology. As a medical professional, you were entirely aware of the risks you were taking by even flying to Miami. Never mind what occurred afterward, which, instead of truly taking accountability for, your warping guidelines, the mask wearing one is for swimming exclusively. You were on a boat, not even close to the same thing, to justify that risk. This was an informed, deliberate choice on your part. You may think Dr. Mike's hypocrisy ended here. Following his data manipulation, Dr. Mike would try everything to stop this information from being known to his fans. He was definitely trying to hide the video. The man has 6.7 million subscribers, and he posted it on a channel with 75,000. And the likes were disabled. Dr. Mike is trash. Like, he wants us to praise him. That's it for part one. If you want to see part two covering what followed his scantily clothing, let me know in the comments.